pendulum squats have actually only did this. This is what the fucking third time I've done this. And this shit is officially in my routine at this point. So I'm gonna kind of compensate some of the squat that I generally would do, because I like to do a few sets with squats. I generally probably go like seven, eight, eight sets on an average. Generally two would be like working sets and then we actually going into the weight. But for me personally, pendulum squats is something that I'm gonna start throwing into my routine. One thing I love about pendulum squats, because of the awkward angle, you really don't have to worry about loading the machine with a lot of weight. Just focus on time under tension sometimes, hold it at the bottom, make sure you're actually engaging your glute. That's one reason why I really love this machine is because the glute activation for me, next level with this one. I don't really feel a lot of glute activation when it comes down to my, to my squats personally. Even though I get low in my squats, I don't really feel a lot in my glutes, nor do I feel a lot in my lower back, but it's a lot easier for me to be able to identify glutes with the pendulum squat. So if you got a goals near you, make sure you do me a favor and knock this out. I don't think Goals itself just have these machines, but in my area, the Goals is the only place that I go to that has a machine like this. But definitely incorporate these into your training program. This is what, like I said, this is the third time I'll be doing this. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this ain't gonna be just the third after this, because these motherfuckers hit hard.